Hello everyone, today we are going to check out the new diffusion model called Colors, developed by Kwai Shu. As we have seen with Kling AI for AI videos and Colors for images generation, you can check out Colors, which is available on the Kwai Shu website. They released this model open source, and it is available on Hugging Face right now. You can download their models from Hugging Face, run their Hugging Face space pages to test the demo, or download it and use it in your comfy UI. Currently, they have only comfy UI available. I guess they are integrating it with comfy UI support. The latest update includes the control net and in paint model, which are also available right now on the Hugging Face page. You can download the control net Tandy and depth map, as well as the in painting models for colors. One of the cool things is that the IP adapter we are using currently can connect with callers, the diffusion models, and incorporate the IP adapter weights with callers. Here's the roadmap of what they have. Hopefully they will include Laura's IP adapter, face ID, and the control net pose. This means open pose and similar features will be more available in callers. Their performance is almost the same as other image generation models on the market right now, such as Stable Diffusion 3, etc. Another cool thing is that they are using large language models, incorporating language understanding. As you can see here, they have the chat GLM3 models for incorporating text into the diffusion model before it passes any instructions. This can be used as a prompt to generate your image. Here's the comfy UI colors wrapper, which you need to download to get this running. In this video, I'm going to start from the basics, installing the wrappers and models and seeing how that goes. In comfy UI, we have the comfy UI manager. Click that button and a manager will pop up. Search for this keyword and click install. This is the simplest way to install colors. After that, click restart and try it. After you restart your Comfy UI, you will have the examples folder again here. It's very convenient. Most new GitHub projects have an examples folder to check the basic features of their custom nodes. These custom nodes use colors for text to image and image to image. Go to your custom nodes folder, then to examples, and you will see these two workflows to test. Here I have the text to image workflow, which is very convenient to try out. First, we download or load the model. If you haven't downloaded this yet, it will download everything the first time. It might take a while because the total file size is 16 gigabytes. The chat GLM3 models will also be downloaded for text encoding. After downloading, we can use different languages for text prompts. By default, it is in English, but you can use Chinese as well. The requirements are shown here. Approximately 12 gigabytes VRAM is required for FP16, which is the approximate requirement. The rest require lower VRAM on your local machine, so you can select whichever you want to run. In this case, I'm running on FP16. For the Colors models, we are selecting the same type here. Let's try it out. The Colors model is based on SDXL VAE. It uses the base same of SDXL, which is 1024 times 1024. Let's try this and see what we get. The first time running this, we will encounter a download because I haven't downloaded it locally yet. It will fetch all the files from Hugging Face for me, and we just have to wait. A faster way is to download manually. Go to the Caller's Hugging Face model card then to files and versions and download all these files into the same path of the colors models folder put them in there and you are good to go after downloading the diffusion models for colors you will have files like this for the text encoder you will have the colors folder and scheduler as well there will be json files and the unit which in my case is fp16 you will also have the models index json files this is what you need in the Colors folder under the Diffusers folder of the models files. For the large language models, we have the LLM checkpoints and the chat GLM3 FP16, which will help us with text encoding to generate images. 
So this is what we have in the models files downloaded in this loader. The chat GLM3 is also loaded here. We have four images generated separately by each prompt. Very simple, easy prompts, and you will get something like this, which looks amazing. The resolution is very high for colors. It's kind of like SDXL, honestly, but overall, the color enhancement as a base model looks very good. I'm looking forward to having more trained or fine-tuned models based on colors. Next, we will see how we can use ControlNet and the IP adapter for colors. I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.